How's it going gamers? We're kind of going back to our roots here that we started off this channel around the same time when the PlayStation Vita was released in Japan and we mainly focused on PlayStation Vita videos but now we're coming back to those roots we're you know doing a gameplay video doing some commentary and now in this video we're going to be commentating over some gameplay of Soul Sacrifice for the PlayStation Vita. Now you can download this demo that I'm playing right now in this video currently on the PSN for free it's about a gigabyte slightly over a gigabyte so you can download this for free. It's made by Kiji, Kije Inafune, the creator of the Mega Man character and series. It's pretty fun so far. I'm not really into the whole RPG genre so much. It's a it's a great series, of course. There's a great video game genre, which is not my favorite cup uh, or favorite game type, not my cup of tea. But I really like this so far. It's an action RPG. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Monster Hunter for the Wii U slash 3DS, and it's really fun. Honestly, I haven't really been playing my PlayStation Vita. I've been playing a lot of the PlayStation All-Stars on it and Guacamelee recently, but I haven't really played the game so much, or at least the most recently released one, since uh, Guacamelee, and that's just because I had to review it and I had to try out the Vita version as well as the PS3 version. Uh, this game is itself, it's just, it's really fun. It's an action RPG. It feels a lot like Monster Hunter, like I already said, but it's not completely turn-based RPG, so I don't get really bored with it, at least for me that I'm not really into turn-based RPGs. It's fun enough for me just to control the characters, and it's awesome that it supports the dual analog stick, so you can move the character and then move the camera with the right stick. It just feels natural, especially since I just bought the trigger grips so you can see in this video. It just feels a lot better. You'll also find that throughout the demo you'll be asked to use the touchscreen, but it's not used in a gimmicky way. As you can see throughout some of this gameplay that at some points when you kill an enemy you're able to either sacrifice them sacrifice them or save them depending on what you do you might get more life or you might get more power so it's also a nice interesting concept too so whenever you defeat a major boss you can also get the choice to either save them or sacrifice their soul and gain it your own power so it's a really interesting concept so far it kind of feels like bioshock when you're playing uh Bioshock 1 or 2 and you get sacrificed or save the little sisters. It's kind of like that, just a little bit less as epic. And one specific feature that I really enjoyed so far with the demo is being able to create your own character. You can, just like in a game, let's say like Fire Emblem Awakening, you can create your own character, choose its gender, choose its facial animation, its hair, hair type, hair color, you can even change its voice. So it's customizable to your liking and just make your own character. It's fun, it's fun to see that you progress through the level or gain new abilities and items with your own character. So overall that just experience of having your own character, your own unique character is really awesome. The game is also told, at least so far, from a talking book that pretty much reads you the past and you can travel into different missions from the past and play through them. Think of it like Assassin's Creed. So far I'm currently about 25 to 30 minutes into the demo and I'm really liking it so far. For a demo, it's actually pretty lengthy, I'm about 4 levels into it, I've made my own character and I'm not sure if it's even the full editor that's available in the full game, but even so, the editor itself for your character is pretty big, it has a lot of features in it. If you want to try out the demo for yourself, you can download it now on the PlayStation Network for PS Vita, it's about a gigabyte or so, so if you have the space, definitely do so, download it uh, on the PSN. And if you want to purchase the game, the game comes out on April 30th in North America, and you can pre-order that on Amazon or buy it on the PSN. If you want to buy it on Amazon though, we'll have a link in the description. If you pre-order it now, it actually comes with some additional costumes, so if you really want to you know, make up a pretty unique character, you can do that too. In the comment section of this video, be sure to leave any feedback you have. Do you want us to keep making these like, commentary gameplay videos? Uh, we started off doing them and we kind of drifted off. We've been really busy and you know, a lot of games have been coming out. Uh, so it's hard to keep up with them. So tell us in the comments section below. Would you like us to keep doing these? Do you guys want do any different types of videos or if you have any video suggestions? Leave them in the comment section below. We're always reading them and we're always responding. Thanks for watching and as always if you want to be kept up to date with everything video games, you're already at the right place. Gaming Vlog Network.